Hello Twin Flame, so this is a video for the feminines just to see what you need to know right now and how you need to proceed on this journey. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, subscribing and all the amazing feedback that's coming in. It's an absolute blessing to be here today. So thank you angels for being with me and all the feminines watching. What do the feminines need to be aware of right now? What do they need to work on right now? Please can you guide us and give us signs. What do the feminines need to know right now? Lovely. There we go. Okay. So right now then, the feminines, you need to be working on your friendships and the relationships that you've got within your life. So this isn't really a time in February to go within, even though we are going within, but it's a kind of a time to spend time with people that you love and care about, to be around people and work on the actual physical friendships that you've got in the now. And it's time to manifest. It's time to manifest and create what you desire because you're very, very powerful right now. You're very switched on and it's about really confiding in people that you love and care about. And someone said to me the other day, I spoke about this twin flame journey to my family and they think I'm crazy. And, you know, nobody but a twin flame will understand the journey that you're on. And that's why it's good that we can come together on channels like this and you know forums and things where twins are and and really spend time and twin energy because the only people that understand the twin flame journey is someone on a twin flame journey and i've always always said that if there's any psychics out there who aren't twin flames they may give you the right guidance but they don't really empathize with twins because you know, the pain that you go through on this journey is so intense that only other twins can understand it. So I really wouldn't talk to your family about it or anybody who doesn't understand the twin flame journey. If you've got somebody you can talk to about it, another um, divine feminine, then that's great. But just don't go into negative energy when you're talking about each other, when you're talking about, you know, each other's journey. Keep it positive, keep it radiant, keep it light and really work on what's happening in your life right now because the angels are saying it's a wonderful time to manifest you've got power in your hands right now that you can access the power and the support of the universe just like that you know you're creating this amazing ball of energy so if you imagine everything that you desire in your life is within your hands and you really form it into what you want it to be and then you push it out and guide it to the universe the universe will bring it to you when it's ready and manifest that's so beautiful wow look at this you are safe you are safe the angels are saying that they've completely got you divine has got you the universe has got you you are safe you are protected you are supported you are loved the feminines are really that in tune right now you're getting everything you need from source energy you don't need the energy of your masculine right now dragging you down making you go into ego, messing up what you're manifesting, stressing you out. You don't need that energy right now. You are safe anyway. The angels have got your back because this is part of your divine purpose. So even at the moments where you felt like you can't go on another day, even when you felt like enough's enough and you've been in that much pain, you can't get up. Archangel Michael has given you the strength to rise again because you were protected by heaven. And so is this amazing journey that you're on. That's so very beautiful. So let's do some tarot then. Angels, thank you for being with me and all the Divine Feminines watching right now. What guidance can you give the Divine Feminines, please? What do the Divine Feminines need to know right now? What do the Divine Feminines need to know right now? What do the Divine Feminines need to know right now? I'm just doing what I'm being guided to do. I'm just grabbing random decks of cards. Here we go. Okay. Well, look at this straight away. The Page of Cups. 
the page of cups so the masculine wants to come forward with an offer the masculine wants to come forward with emotion the masculine wants to come forward right now the masculine's feeling lost and alone and wants to come forward so you know keep being true to, to you and doing what you're doing because you're doing something right because you've let go enough to scare the masculine so the masculines want to come forward to you because you're doing this dance you know you're doing this dance you're in the power you're standing in the power you know you're feeling powerful and strong and independent and sexual and independent and passionate and wonderful and magical and because of that you're just throwing out this power energy and that power energy is attracting in the masculine wow and you know what you want you know what you want to create you know kind of how you're going to create it you're starting to learn how to create it you're manifesting you're putting plans in place you're focusing you're visualizing you're doing your work and you know, you're focusing on what's going on in the 3D a little bit more, you know. So they're, they're showing me here that this is your twin here on the 5D. And you're focused right now on what's going on in the 3D. Remember, I'm reading these like angel cards. And some of the cups are filling up and some aren't, you know. So this is the cup that obviously isn't working. This will be the separation that you're in. You know, the pain that you're still in. But you've got two cups that are starting to overflow on the 3D. So these are things that you're manifesting, you're creating. It's all starting to bubble up. And that's where your attention is. And you're not looking behind. You're not looking at this um, cup here, which is on the 5D. This is the masculine waiting for you on the 5D. But right now that you're that much in power energy, you're focusing on what you're creating in your life. And it's scaring the masculine. And that's why they want to come forward. And, you know, this is about the energy between you, that you're frolicking around together and you have fun together, you know. This is the energy that is beautiful and playful and how it should be. So, you know, this is about thinking about their energy and knowing that it still exists. And I really feel that's coming in again from June. It's like from June time, you'll be playing together again. But right now, there's a battle of wills going on. And the angels are telling me that this card right now is the battle of wills between the feminine's ego and higher self. So, you know, you're putting strategies in place. So the, the higher self is planning and manifesting and creating and the ego is bringing scare energy in. So it's like you move one step forward and one step back. You move two steps forward and one step back. You know, that's how it is. But there's still progress being made. And you are standing in your power as the Queen of Pentacles, standing in your power with independence and financial support and abundance and all the wonderful things that you're creating around you. So you're doing your work, feminines, but the masculines are scared and they want to come forward. And yeah, look at this. You know, I'm always seeing this as this is the, the 5D. The cups are full on the 5D, but one's shiny more than the other right now. And that's because your attention right now is more down here than it is on the 5D with the twin. Because you're more focused on what's going on, even though the fire is still burning. The fire is still burning and it won't go out. This is the connection that you've got with your masculine, you know. The fire is still burning. And I know at times you think, what? why what what is going on here why is this connection so strong and it will baffle your brain and the masculine is also feeling that energy and you're standing strong in your power repetitive cards we keep getting the same cards coming out over and over again it's about letting go let go and allow it to flow let go and let it flow because the masculine wants to come forward he wants the relationship he wants the connection, the connection is overflowing, but right now you're creating miracles and manifestations in your life, and your attention is elsewhere, and because of that, the masculine, this is the masculine again, Luke, is afraid, he's afraid, you know, and he's like, what's going on, I don't understand, and there's things, there's people reaching out, but it, they're not the right people reaching out, he feels like he's got people all around him, wanting his attention but he isn't interested because he wants the attention of the feminine because there is hope for the future and he sees the feminine as creating everything he wants and obviously you've got all the stability here you've got the stability and the support from heaven you are creating what you need to in your life and you're healing from the past 
you're healing from the past you're letting it go and the answer, answer the outcome you're standing in your power right now feminines you're standing in your power and allowing everything to flow you know you're standing up for what you believe in you're setting boundaries you're not being walked over anymore you're being the king of swords you know, usually the masculines are coming up as the king of swords. This is how they would have been a few weeks ago. But now the feminines are the, ki the king of swords because you're strong and powerful and standing in your honour. And you're not taking no crap. And because of that, the masculines are afraid. They're afraid they can feel it and they want to come forward to you. So right now the angels are saying, just stand in your power. Keep doing you. Keep focusing on you. And allow everything to fall into place because the masculines want to come forward. They just need to be a little bit more afraid first. They need to know in their mind that it's the right thing to do. And I really feel they're afraid of losing you. They're afraid of losing you and losing the connection. And in spiritual truth, the connection will never end because the fire is always burning. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.